Registration closed on Friday for the Toronto mayoral by-election. And when it was all said and done, 102 candidates okay. registered. That is a record. A new poll out this morning on the race puts one candidate, though, well ahead of the pack. CP24's Beatrice Vaisman joins us live from City Hall with more on who is in the lead. And it looks like Olivia Chow takes the cake, Beatrice. She does, and that's been consistent with what we've seen in uh, recent polling. Nick and Jen, she's consistently been the front runner in this race. Uh, the question has been by how much, and so today we're getting a better idea from Forum Research as to how much steam she's picking up. And really, since the last week, she's picked up three percentage points uh, in the lead over uh, other uh, candidates here. So she's currently sitting at 36 percent support, uh, and that's according to this poll that was conducted over the weekend, where a thousand respondents were polled by Forum Research on Saturday. So 36% of decided voters say they're going to be casting their ballot for Olivia Chow come uh, by election day. When it comes to some of the other candidates, we've seen them starting to pick up steam as well. Mark Saunders, the former police chief here in the city, has also been slowly gaining momentum, uh, picking up some points. Uh, he seems to be resonating with voters to the tune of 18% support. So roughly half of Olivia Chow today. Uh, the poll that has Josh Matlow and Mitzi Hunter sitting at 10% support, with Deputy Mayor Anna Bailau seemingly dropping down a little bit to 7% support. She's uh, Some polls have shown her in second in place recently. Uh, Councillor Brad Bradford sitting at 6% support. Uh, these results are based uh, on a sample considered accurate plus or minus 3% 19 times out of 20. When it comes to the top ballot issues, uh, it's been pretty consistent. You know, while Mark Saunders has been talking about public safety uh, and law and disorder here in the city, housing has really become the number one issue for voters here in the city. Uh, in fact, 25% of eligible voters, so a quarter of them, said that housing is their biggest issue. That's largely because affordable housing is really, really tough to come by here in the city. Some of the experts have said we're in an affordable housing crisis, and so people are struggling to put a roof over their heads and pay their bills. So people want to know what are these candidates who want to be mayor going to do about this situation. And then when it comes to uh, the cost of living and inflation, also really important to the average Torontonian. It ranked high at 19 percent uh, as the second most important issue in this race. But 102 people are vying to become the mayor. Only one person can do it. And we'll find out, Nick, on June 26th who that person is going to be.